Welcome back to another episode of Cube World. Oh man, it feels good to be back. Feels great. Happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I know I am. Uh, as you guys are watching this, I will be out and about filming and doing a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, it is today, but this weekend is actually one of the nicest weekends we've had since I've uh, decided to start this new project of mine. So my intention is to get out of the house and do a whole bunch of filming and wandering the city and becoming a tourist in a city that I absolutely love living in. Montreal is a delightful place to be. So we're going to go and kick the tires and figure out how to get everything I need done today. Uh, so instead of doing anything other than that, that's my day. Can't wait. Cannot wait. It's for me. It's going to be a delightful day. Um, as for things that are happening in my life, everything's good. Uh, the new job has gone well. I've enjoyed everything about it. Uh, it's been keeping me busy. Uh, nice having a full weekend off again. Uh, at least this week. Next week, I'm doing another six-day work week. Um, this one is, uh, it's okay, because it's followed by a four-day work week, which is cool. i got to cover a shift on Saturday, but I get Monday off the following week. So I'm okay with that. That, that that's cool for me. I still get two days off in a row, and I only have to work four days the next week. So I'm like, yeah, that that's I balance that. That should be good. Um, but yeah, everything has been going the right direction. Not uh, frustrated with anything. Uh, you know, the job is challenging, uh, and it's good. I'm catching, you know, the, learning the ropes and, and catching my foibles as I go. Um, nothing monumental difficult um it's not a, a hat i'm unused to wearing i've done management stuff before uh you know it's just a different dynamics of having to manage folks that you actually worked with um it can be it, it can be difficult both ways for some folks to deal with you um in a role like that when they were just like your coworker, um and i'm not one of those you know Milton, follow the roles, follow the line type of thing. Um, you know, I'm pretty open to uh, to how things go. I understand the plight of the general worker, um, but I'm also a no nonsense kind of guy. Like I, you know, I'm there to work. Work is what I always do, and that's you know, I always did that no matter what. Um, you know, whether I'm in management or I'm just you know doing my job, I just do my job. That's what I'm there for. I don't screw about. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, we are, I think we're heading towards something. If we take a look on the map here, let's take a gander right here. Yeah, it looks like a castle. I was looking at the discoloration, and I was like, there's something coming up. And it looks like a castle. And oh, lo and behold, looky, looky, looky. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. How you doing? Wrecked. We wrecked a squirrel. Hopefully, this is a uh, blue or so. I mean, the, the white castles are... Ooh, white plus three can be a challenge. It can be okay. They can uh, they can make your day difficult, which is okay. I'm okay with this. Potions are being drank. What's the level of the stuff on the ground? Oh, wow. Yeah, everybody's here. Oh, I missed. Okay. Listen, boomerang lady. Could have been a dude, pink hair, kind of, you know, alludes to it. But, you know, I do tend to rock a uh, pink car in GTA, so I'm not one to judge. But, yeah, um, you know, everything, everything's good. I'm happy with uh, with everything. Uh, definitely happy with the progression of things that are happening here on the channel. Uh, we're, 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 we're moving up again. The numbers are, are, are actually going in the right direction once again. Uh, makes me happy. A lot of old faces are popping back out. People are saying, oh, I've been around for a while. Really good to see you're still doing it kind of thing. And that's nice. It's nice to have people checking it out again. Um, you know, I know that, uh, you know, this kind of stuff is not for everybody all the time. So, I mean, I never, you know, I, I never judge people if they're like, well, I'm sorry I haven't been around for a while. I'm like, it's fine. It, You know, I make videos on YouTube while playing a game that hasn't had an update in five, six years. It's fine if you're not coming out to check out the game. You know, that's why I've been branching out and doing other things, um, you know, with like Forger and Satisfactory. Um, Satisfactory, which surprises me, um, 
is not gathering momentum, um, which is, you know, eh, whatever. Uh, I'm okay with that. Um, you know, I'm not getting any comments one way or the other as to why if people don't like it or if it's just not a genre game that they're into. I dig it. Um, I'm learning a lot in the game, and I'm going to stick with it for a while because, you know, factory builders can be challenging, uh, and it's definitely a challenging game. I'm not going to discount it. It's got uh, a good learning curve to it. Okay, let's get rid of these jerks. But it's fun. And it's making me... It's making me reach outside of my normal shell for things. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got some big plans for some stuff that I'm working on. Um, you know, kind of working on a factory idea in it instead of just running around and trying to unlock all of the resources. Because it's finally gotten to a point in the game where the resources that I need, I need to grind. Uh, either I could spend like an hour sitting there making it, or I can automate it. And that's kind of what I think is fun about the game is the fact that you can, you know, if you want to just go do the grind, go for it. You know, you know good luck, have fun with it. Um, you know, here's all the resources you need. Here's the recipes for it. Go make it. Um, that's cool. Um, but it also gives you the opportunity of manufacturing and making a factory to do it for you. Um, and that's where the fun challenge is because it's all the simple bits and pieces, but you get to design it, lay it out how you want to. You know, if you want to have a ragtag collection of machines doing it, you can. If you want to make it very efficient, you can. Um, I'm a bit of a complete mess at the moment, so I haven't quite grasped how to clean it up yet, so I'm working on that. That's one of my things I'm working on. It's fun. It's been really a lot of fun. So, yeah. Um, it's one of those games that I think has more potential down the road for me, personally, as a person. Uh, again, not too sure how it works for folks as a game to watch, but it's cool. Um, you know, it's much like Astroneer in that, you know, there is a curve to it to learn. And once you get the grasp of it, it becomes quite enjoyable. A much different idea than... Uh, ooh, 100 XP is good. Uh, a much different idea than Astroneer, though. Astroneer is similar but different in, in some senses. But, yeah. Um, and I just wish some of my friends had it. That's one of the things. Now, let's go take a look at our inventory. Dear God, this nightmare... Oh, I wish that that was better. I mean, yeah, I could try to adapt that. So I'm going to hold on to it. Let's get rid of all the crap. Oh, my God. This is so much. You guys are in for the long haul here. I'm sorry to say. Um, yeah. I mean, early on, this would have been amazing stuff to have, but I mean, just like right now there's no need for it. How far are we from town? Town's a fair chunk away. Next. Okay. Well, let's just clear this out. Uh, dagger. Yeah. Anything. This is fun. This is what I do. Um... So yeah, the, today I'm going to go and visit um, one of my favorite locations of the city. Um, Montreal um, is built around Mount Royal, which is a uh, hilltop, mountainish kind of area. Uh, it's a challenging, fun little climb to get to. Uh, there's no bus service that runs directly to it. you got to kind of walk a fair chunk. Uh, and I love walking. Uh, it's and, and with it being early spring, so that means that there is a lot of uh, plants just starting to bud, but things are not necessarily the most pretty at the moment uh, in the city, but it's fine. It's getting there. And it's just one of the first really nice days we've had in five months, four months. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of important to get out and enjoy it. Um, you know, you become stuck indoors for so long. Uh, winter has been brutal, um, and I don't know if anybody has been paying attention or anything, but uh, we've been having a lot of flooding here in Montreal. Now, fortunately, with the location where I'm at, it's not been an issue. Uh, it's been mostly in the outskirts uh, uh, to the west end of where I am. Ooh, look at that. Purple shoulder armor. Um, yeah, look at that. 
It looks like the exact same shoulder armor, but just um, different level. I'm okay with that. Yeah, so there's been a lot of flooding. Um, the Ottawa region, uh, Canada, we've had massive flooding. Uh, and then that's not too terribly far from where we are here in Montreal. Uh, if you're not used, if you don't understand the logistics of you know how Canada's laid out or anything, I, I get it. It's okay. I uh, don't judge anybody. I don't know where everything is in other places either. But this is the country I live in, so I kind of know where things are here. Um, but yeah, so between Mod uh, Montreal and Ottawa, um, there's a you know a bunch of rivers and stuff. There is a, a hydroelectric dam up that way, and it, it's been it's been an interesting uh, winter. Uh, we've had a fair chunk of um, snow up in the northern ends, um, like quite a fair chunk of snow. And the runoff has been abrupt. Um, we went from very, very cold and you know still collecting snow to all of a sudden it was warm and everything melted. Like it was like within three days I saw all the snow gone, uh, and then it cooled down again, and then we got more snow and then more rain, and it's been a very, very wet spring here. But I mean, it's been it's been a wonky spring for most people. Um, so, yeah, it's been either overcast and raining or snowing or something. So that's why I'm looking forward to this. But I do want to go out and check out parts of the city I haven't been to before. Uh, Mount Royal is a place that I have wandered around near, but not up to. Uh, so it's been on my bucket list of places to visit since I got back here. Um, and then I just want to do some wandering. Just go take a look at the city and just kind of enjoy it as a tourist myself. <laughs> We, go. we wrecked those idiots. I got their, co their, their coins. And the staff, apparently. Plus 79. That's not bad. But is it any good? It would have been. I mean, I do notice is that our equipment here is not necessarily the best. I mean, our armor rating everything is okay. 247, I'm not going to sneeze at. Obviously, we're doing fine. But still. I want more. Nothing wrong with wanting more. Um, but yeah. So yeah, my thoughts were initially today was, um, you know, looking at the weather, seeing how it's going to be. If it was going to be a nice day, of course, go and do my other stuff. If it was going to be slightly overcast or kind of miserable, stick around in the house and do a live stream. So live streams will be dependent upon that, uh, that kind of a metric. If it's a good day, beautiful day, I'm going to be out filming and doing my thing. Um, and I got to put some attention and focus on that for myself because, you know, uh, it's where I think my livelihood will eventually come from um i love food and travel and i love you know wandering around and taking a look at things and so for me it's just going to be like an extension of another part of my own personality i love video games and i love food so it's kind of a weird combination of a thing to have but i think most people have you know varied things that they enjoy you know I don't think everybody's a one-trick pony. It's like, you know, not everybody that is just a gamer just likes games kind of thing. It would be a sad, sad, sad world if that's the way it was. So, But, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. If, if anything else, just to get out and enjoy the day. Well, who would have thought I could level up on a bat? Silly bat. Silly, silly, silly bat. Okay. Now, I did notice something over here. I thought I saw a skull bull that was bigger than the others. Or something of those sorts over here. I did. Oh, I did. This is going to be an entertaining thing. Skull bulls are brutal enough on their own, let alone when you give them uh, godlike powers. So this would be phenomenal. Move, just keep him busy. Why am I not hitting him? There we go. Jesus. Yeah, I'm not hitting him for a lot either. Is this jerk shooting me? Yeah, he's shooting me. Listen, you. This is not quite what I was expecting when we were out wandering around today. I do like it. These boss battles can be beneficial sometimes. Oh, not like that. They're not. 
Not when they spawn an extra giant large version of themselves. I do find it funny though when you find a giant funny little animal, like a giant collie. You know, they're cute and adorable. Uh, I'm not. Th I don't think I've seen a giant turtle. Obviously, there's a saurian, which you know that kind of counts for what it is. But that's a separate entity for a boss. I don't recall bumping into one of the giant turtles. Um, yeah, there's some animals I don't think. I, I know I've seen the giants of like the runners and stuff. But they're kind of fun and cute. What do we get? 120 XP. So it was worth the while to doing. I mean, I'm not going to question it. Not a whole lot of loot from it, but that's okay. We don't need loot. Loot's not necessarily important. Um, we're going to keep wandering this way, though. Boop, boop, boop. They're going to want us to climb another rock. I know it. <clears throat> I can feel it. I'm not doing it. Because we all know what happens whenever I climb those things. I end up jumping off of them and flying to the next thing. Unless it's like a, you know, regular white level. Unless it doesn't have anything that's not making the sound. There's no sound for this one. Interesting. Rock of Tarotar. Yep, it's a, it's a scary rock. Um, do we climb it? What is it for? It's white. Dang it. Why do you have to be so easy? Let's take a look. No guarantees. Um, okay. Yeah, there's been a few games I've been looking at, too. Um, I've gotten a boatload of little quick indie adventure titles that are kind of fun and cute that I'm contemplating, you know, doing little mini-series on. You know, they're like three or four hours long to play. Uh, it could be kind of fun to sit for myself and do a, you know, a session where I sit and play a, ah, a game like that. So, we'll see. Uh, while we're sitting here, let's do this real quick. Uh, Q. And then X. I got a boatload of these. Um, get these to 50. Uh, both to 51. That's where we'll be. And then 6. Um, climbing? No. Pet riding. Makes him learn, run faster. Learn it. So we're good. Uh, oh, sweet baby Jesus. Well, we fell off of that one. That was a sign moves that we didn't need to be in there. Whatever. It's okay. I don't need to be there. Stupid rock. Make me fall. Um, I needed to try to fly around that one anyway. Looking for a climbing up hole. Nah. I don't care for them. They're not always fun. They're fun to climb. I, I do appreciate the climb on some of them. Uh, this one is really not that tall. I mean, I've climbed mountains bigger. Like I could probably fly from this mountain over to it if I really, really, truly wanted to. Do I want to? I mean, we could. You want to? Let's go take a look. I told you it wasn't that tall. <laughs> Let's see what's up here. Tacos. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not going to question it. There's just a giant taco up here. How bad is a taco to beat up? Lemon beetles uh, traditionally are not too horrible to take on. Um, they don't shoot or anything, so it's not that horrible. These guys, though, snow beetles. So glad that I did not make them into tacos because that'd be annoying. Well, that hurt. Um, how much damage are we doing here? I guess we could take it on. What else we got to do? Sit here and drink our our potions when we need to. You know, I could have a sip of coffee. I could. So yeah, the other thing I plan on doing potentially today is um, there is a outdoor market that I've been wanting to go to. 
Uh, plenty of heading down to check out that. Uh, and then take a walk around the canal system and stuff. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Just taking a lovely day. Um, I may do the filming. I may not. I may just, you know, get a little bit of it done. Um, I'm not... I haven't got everything organized and ready for what I'm doing with uh, this first episode. I thought I had more time. But again, I got to just get out and do it. And people are thinking, it's like, wait, you don't, what do you mean you got? You need more time? Um, yeah, I haven't done uh, my research for some of the stuff I want to do, uh, which is fine. It's okay. I'm going to do a little bit of it while uh, the render and edit of this goes up. Um, and then I don't have a video ready necessarily for tonight either. Um, I had an idea for one. I haven't done it yet uh, for the gaming stuff. Uh, just... My weekend has been... Yesterday, I was out around doing all of my errands. Errands are fun on the weekend. Uh, considering last weekend I had one day, so not everything got done. And now working with the evening shift, I don't get as much done throughout the week. Um, Errand-wise, as I was before, I am recording more. That is a good thing. I'm getting at least one episode every day, sometimes two or three. Uh, depends on the morning when I get up. And that's been kind of a nice treat. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've got plenty of stuff and that's why I was really not too fussy about what I was going to do yesterday. Now, of course I could put up a Forager episode tonight, which I may do. I'll, I will contemplate after I get done this, but you know, I can't believe I'm fighting a taco on top of this place. It's not worth 66 XP. I can guarantee you that. Um, that was, that was a long, that's why I don't like those battles guys. If you ever wonder why I don't like doing them and that's it. That was a white plus nothing, I think it was, or plus one. And it was a long drawn out battle for 66 XP where I had that skull bull fight much more entertaining and was just about double, you know, why bother? Um, now, you know, it's still a fight. It's still a battle. It's still fun in what it is. So, I mean, yeah, I did it. Doesn't always have to be. We're going to take a look at what our next big boss battle is. That guy was kind of jumping around funny looking. Looks like he kind of clipped in. I also got a sore on my tongue. I bit it yesterday. Oh my god, I hate when I bite my tongue. It, I, it, it's in a spot. Um, I had a wisdom tooth that um, was failed me years and years and years ago. And I have this... I used to always get this one... Um, like, there was a sharp point on the wisdom tooth. And it used to always cut my tongue this one little spot. And it just drove me mad. And didn't I bite my tongue yesterday? And I bit at the exact same spot. So I've got this stupid reminiscent feeling of when I had that bad wisdom tooth. And it took me forever to get uh, a dentist to take care of it. Um, I, I thought we could try to save it. Um, and so I'd gone to a couple different dentists. And found out that there was just no saving. Uh, they don't like saving with some teeth if they don't have to. They just like pulling them. Which I get um, now in retrospect. I, I wish that I'd gotten them all pulled. I've, I've got two of them pulled so far. But that one, I don't miss it. It caused me more problems than anything else. Even after it got pulled out, it was a pain in the ass. Not literally. But yeah. It just... Uh, that uh, When they pulled the tooth out, it broke. And so there was like little tooth shards that was in the socket that took forever. Like even after it healed, I like every now and again, I get this like pain feeling in, in my gum line. I'm like, oh, what's happening? And sure enough, it's like another little piece of tooth coming up through. I'm like, ah, oh. so like it, it, it bothered me for like three years <laughs> and I just hate it. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not enjoying this memory. This is not a good memory for me to have. And I'm just, I'm talking so goofy around this sore in my tongue. I hate it. And of course, you know, this is the day I want to go out and start my uh, filming for the other channel because, you know, I'm an idiot. Uh, I should probably just take the day and just do B-roll. We'll see. We will see. I, it could end up becoming uh, a boot point anyway. Because every time they say it's going to be a nice day out, it turns out to be a shit show. But I'm going to go out and wander the city anyway, no matter what. Um, this is a canyon, which could be kind of fun, could be kind of awful. It's blues. Interesting layout for it, too. I do enjoy this little rock in the middle of it. 
Ah. Jerks. Okay, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> he thought he had me. He didn't. Uh, what we got here? Can I... See the boss anywhere? We'll take a look at what he is. Oh god, there he is. Looks like a warrior. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm gonna fly over to him. Because I can. See if we can if I could get his attention without getting the attention of a bunch of other folks. Oh god, he's gonna suck! Look at that. I've hit him and I I can barely see a movement. Oh my god. Yeah, no thanks. Go ahead, kill me. Take me out of my misery. I'm gonna keep whacking at you until you do it. Thank you. That was that was perfect. That's exactly how I wanted to get out of there. No thank you. Well, there you go, guys. An episode down. Uh, we, you know, succeeded in a lot of levels. Failed epically in others, which is fine. Life is like that. I'm going to go wrecking over. Or not. We're going to go. This is that we started the game off with an ogre. Why don't we finish it with an ogre? I think there was an ogre at the beginning of the game. Pretty sure there was one. He was running around in the water. Nearby. At the beginning of the game. And there you go. Anyway, thanks again, everybody, for your continued support in the series and on the channel, of course. I do appreciate all of you for coming out here as often as you do. Again, if you are brand new to the channel and you do like what you see, feel free to subscribe every Sunday and Wednesday. There's a new Cube World episode up at 2 p.m. Eastern every day. Other than that, I always have videos at 2 and 7 Eastern. And uh, you never know what I'm going to be into because I randomly change them from time to time. But anyway... I'll see you guys very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. This is a song for all the riveted heads. This is a song to make.